This is Sandy Tankers, and I'm in Alberton, Long Island at La Mirage Beauty Salon. And I'm with Kiki Protosaltis, who is a hairstylist and colorist. And Kiki's going to speak to us today about coloring your hair. Um, Kiki, uh, good morning. Good morning, Sandy. Nice to see you. And uh, for every woman, there comes a time when their hair starts to turn gray. And they have to make a decision whether or not they're going to color their hair or just let it turn gray. And there are some women who look very beautiful in gray hair, but some women feel as though they look washed out or older. Can you talk to us about that? Sure. Uh, first of all, color is a preference. If a woman wants to color her hair, she doesn't, wait, she doesn't have to wait to have a gray hair. That's one. Second of all, gray hair turned gray, beautiful gray, depends the natural color they were before they turned gray. And some gray hair has red in it or they have yellow in it, and depends the original color, the, color, the, the gray hair might turn silvery or might turn yellow. So you don't want to have that. Why some women look good in that time? Nobody knows. It's just some people wear it well, and that's the whole thing. They cut it on nice gray hair, they wet it well and looks great on them. Do you have any helpful hints to help a woman decide whether coloring her hair is the right thing for her to do personally? Sure. First of all is what you want from yourself. How do you want to look? I said previous also that your head is the best accessory you have. Now if you like yourself what you see in the mirror with your hair gray, that's fine. It's, it's your choice. But if you're not happy, then I think the best thing to do is to Go to a hairstylist, hair colorist, and have your hair colored. And let's say a woman does decide to color her hair. Should she stay with what once was her natural color? If she wants to, of course she can. But uh, she has to consider everything else. First of all, as we're getting older, it's better to have lighter hair because it looks softer in our face. And that's one thing. But if they want to have a, the, the color the original had, that's fine. For instance, this is Miss Tina Castellano, and uh, she likes her hair to be almost the same color she had before, like a dark brown. What, she, what we did, we did the hair red, so she has like a hue in her color. So bring something in her face, makes her face look very well, because it's not the, the gray, it's not brown, and it's just a beautiful vibrant red. So the color doesn't have to be just brown, it has to be like brown gold, you can do low lights, you can do high lights, but also has to go with your color, your, your skin tone. Okay, uh, so how expensive is it to color your hair? Is money a problem? Can you color your hair on your own? Well, of course you can. You know, it's, it's nothing that to say you can or you can't. The point is, what do you want to have? You can color your hair, and by coloring your hair by yourself, you keep depositing color over and over and over. And what you end up doing, ruin your hair, the quality of your hair. It's better if you go to a specialist to have a color in your hair that they know what they're doing. Uh, you might be allergic. You cannot go just to, uh, to pick up a color just to put it on your hair if you don't know how your body is going to react to it. So there's a lot of things to consider about. When you're ready to have a color, first of all, you have to have a color test. You have to make sure you're not allergic, and then you continue to do the rest. Okay, well, thank you so much for speaking with me. Thank you're you. welcome, Sandy. Thank you.